Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. You're looking at the Zenith Pilot Type 20 annual calendar, and I'm so happy that they've decided not to keep calling the watch the Montre d'Avonef, as it was when they first launched this case style a few years back, because that would have my tongue fit to be tied. So for the survival of my own poor pronunciation and the fluid progress of this video, we're just going to go with the current nomenclature. This is the Pilot Type 20 annual calendar based on the legendary Zenith El Primero chronograph movement. So this watch actually incorporates a lot of overlapping technical content that's really fascinating because almost each feature unfolds a different chapter in the history of horology. Let's start with the whole idea of the Zenith Pilot Watch. Now today we know Zenith is the manufacturer of chronographs, especially that 36,000 vibration per hour El Primero caliber, but the reality is that during the 1910s, when the company was in its 50s, it was actually becoming a source of note for pilot's watches. Back when a pilot could be someone who was piloting a Zeppelin or one of the newfangled monoplanes, and Louis Blario, a pioneering aviator, who's best known for flying across the English Channel and being the first to do so, actually had a Zenith wristwatch, not just one of the first pilot's watches, but one of the first wristwatches of any kind, on him during his channel crossing in 1909. Now, he actually completed the channel crossing at about 45 miles an hour, which is, uh, I guess, the speed of, like, New York traffic on a good day. So it was an arduous task, and because it was such a risk at the time, because it was so pioneering, so daring, he almost got blown out to sea, out of the channel. That kind of immortalized the role of Zenith as a pilot's watch, and they continued to advance through the 1960s with the release of the chronometer grade 5011 caliper, which was reissued to kind of kick off the new series of vintage style Zenith pilot's watches a few years back. They've begun to expand on that 1960s caliber 5011 Montre d'Alonef, or Type 20 case, in a new line of pilot-themed, now El Primero-powered chronographs. And what we have here is one of the great chronographs of modern times, the Zenith El Primero, 36,000 vibrations per hour. The cool thing about this is, in 1969, Zenith effectively won the race against Japan's Psycho and a consortium of Hamilton, Buren, um, Breitling to develop a, and, and Hoyer, to develop an automatic chronograph. And the El Primero was easily the most advanced of the movements that resulted. Arguments continue over who was actually first, but there's no question that Zenith was the first with an integrated automatic high-beat chronograph. Hands down, it's also the only one of those movements that's still in production, a testament to its lasting value and high quality. Now, the best thing about this watch is you get that historic El Primero movement, which is beloved of collectors and universally respected, and it features an annual calendar complication. So what's neat about this watch is that the annual calendar is itself historically significant, having been designed by Ludwig Oxlin, who is actually the major domo at the Museum of Horology in Switzerland. Now, he's important because he brought us high complications from Ulysse Nardin, like the Trilogy of Time of the late 80s, early 90s, the Freak of the early 2000s, you know, the automaton watches of recent years. He's been responsible for some of these signature horological breakthroughs in modern watchmaking, and he designed this movement in conjunction with Zenith as an addition to the El Primero. So you're getting that Zenith pilot's watch heritage. You're getting all of the history and technical fascination of the 36,000-beat self-winding El Primero chronograph movement, a historical landmark in its own right, and you're getting Ludwig Oxlund's own annual calendar complication built into the El Primero. So this is not only one of the most horologically significant movements, the latest in a long line of celebrated Zenith pilot's watches, but you're getting something like a bespoke complication from one of the star watchmakers of the modern era. Ludwig Oxlin is a rock star. If he comes to your watch get-together, you have arrived. Put photos on that, of that on Instagram, and you are guaranteed to be a superstar in your own right. This guy is a mover and a shaker, and what he designs is beautifully simple, not just beautiful in its functionality. This module, this annual calendar, features only nine pieces. How do you do that? It only needs to be reset one year. It knows the irregular months. All it needs is help with the transition from February to March. That's the definition of an annual calendar. Resets once a year as opposed to five times a year with a standard calendar watch. And he achieved all that with nine pieces. 
This watch is available as a complete boxed set with all factory accessories and papers from WatchYouWant.com. This Zenith Type 20 annual calendar, it is a pilot's watch powered by an El Primero with an annual calendar movement by no less than Ludwig Oxlin. This watch is 48 millimeters in diameter, very vintage inspired in its, in its aesthetic. You can see the coined chronograph pushers, rectangular, very large. You can see the rather delicate look of the lugs in contrast to the mass of the case. You can see that it has a traditional pilot style onion crown. Again, this is true to the original Type 20 Montre d'Alonef that was produced by Zenith. And on the back, it's one of the few watches that doesn't include a display case back in the modern era. Instead, featuring a solid engraved case back with the Zenith crest, a sort of uh, spiraling engraved pattern radiating outward from the center, and the image of Louis Blériot's original 1909 Blériot monoplane that he built and piloted himself in the first crossing of the English Channel. Now this watch is very impressive in person, has tremendous presence. Uh, everything from the unique font of the numerals, the Arabic numerals, to the massive ruthenium-coated cathedral hands has tremendous visual impact. Very striking, it reeks of quality. In the hand it has incredible mass. The hand-stitched, contrasting stitched alligator leather strap is very thick. Squared shoulders, handmade. It has a sort of supple rubber coating on the bottom, like if you can imagine the soft touch switch gear in like a, a high-end Audi or Mercedes-Benz interior. It's that kind of feel. That's the feel on the back. On the front, super durable, dark brown alligator leather. Again, short of Stingray, this is about as tough as a hide-based strap gets. And with this gorgeous contrasting stitch, you can see there's just enough variation between the type loops to show that a human artisan did this, not a machine. So this is the Zenith Pilot Type 20 annual calendar powered by the legendary El Primero movement with an annual calendar complication by Ludwig Oxlin, available as a complete set from WatchYouWant.com. We are the authorities in luxury pre-owned watches. Check out this Zenith and our entire selection online. You just may find the watch you want.